Word defibrillator for today. We be trusting God for a word from within the word. Philippians 2. And we're going to start off at verse 12. I think it's going to be possibly a bit heavy or, or nice and weighty in the sense of lots of good stuff. But here it goes. Starting from verse 12, and it's in the Amplified Classic Version. Therefore, my dear ones, if, as you have always obeyed my suggestions, and I like that, this is like, I suggest to you this is a good idea, but you guys decide what you're going to do with it. So now, not only with the enthusiasm you would show in my presence, but much more because I'm absent, work out, cultivate, carry out to the goal and fully complete your own salvation with reverence and awe and trembling, self-distrust, with serious caution, tenderness of conscience, conscience, watchfulness against temptation, timidly shrinking from whatever might offend God and discredit the name of Christ. That is huge. In the normal version, it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But reverence is understanding you as a child of the Heavenly Father and that aha moment induces in you a wanting to serve and an unwillingness to offend. That's what that relationship will bring you. And awe is, wow, you are so great, you are so fantastic. And trembling. Now the explanation of trembling is self-distrust with serious caution. So when you're going to serve God in your salvation, you already have it, it's yours, it's a given. Now you must cultivate it, you must work it out with self-distrust is don't trust you, trust the Christ in you. And carefully, serious caution, tenderness of conscience means listen to what that little voice is saying. Yeah, you know, we shouldn't do it. Watchfulness against temptation. Because temptation is going to come your way when you, by your own evil desires, are led away from God. Timidly shrinking from whatever might offend God. Might. That is so good to put that in there. Because you're going to ask the question, ah, will this? And if there's doubt, well, don't. Because if it might offend God, don't take a chance. And don't discredit the name of Christ. So timidly shrinking from whatever might offend God and discredit the name of Christ. Not in your own strength, because it's not going to happen. For it is God who is all the while, listen to this, effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire, both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisfaction and delight. Oh my word! He has good pleasure in you, and he is satisfied with you, and he delights in you. And on top of it, he gives you the power to do it, and the desire to do it. So just sit back and literally enjoy. Be obedient to the Word. Be obedient to the Father. Understand Jesus Christ is within your, is within your heart, and just go for it. Verse 14 is mine for the day. Do all things without grumbling and fault-finding and complaining. Oops. Have I, have I had those moments? <laughs> I had them yesterday. I can grumble, eh? I can grumble. You know, under your voice. And, and the weird thing, it says, do all things without grumbling and fault-finding and complaining against God. Now, that's step number one. I do at times doubt God's idea of getting things right and how he's handling my life and i do grumble you know when you speak to somebody and say won't you do this for me and they go yeah sure and they walk away no, 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 no. and then they go tell everybody how much they don't like you and what you said and all that and then in front of you they go hi so sometimes i'm not too happy with god and the way that he thinks he should be doing things i do fix myself very quickly not like i used to i apologize quickly and I do move on very quickly. So do all things without grumbling and fault-finding and complaining against God. 
and questioning and doubting among yourselves. Oh my word, how many times have I heard from God, I go discuss it with somebody, and they talk me out of it. Because I'm discussing instead of being obeying. I need to be obedient to what God has called me to. And then I do it, and I ask for advice, and I ask for support, and I ask for prayer. But I'm not going to question and doubt, especially with people that can assist me so talentedly. Even if that's a word. <laughs> so how good is it? God gives us the power and the strength, and it works in us, and it energizes us. Just don't do it with grumbling and fault finding and complaining against God and questioning and doubting among yourselves, ourselves. And sorry, guys, if I ever bring doubt to what God is bringing into your world, I apologize. If I've done it, I apologize. And if I do it, please correct me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this awesome day, this awesome word, and an awesome reminder that it's not on our own strength, because it is you all the while effectually at work in us, energizing and creating in you the power and the desire. Father, you creating in us the power and desire. And Father, for us to just lie back and say, do it, Lord. Just energize me, just to your strength. Through your spirit, work your good pleasure and satisfaction and delight in us, Father. And Holy Spirit, God our mouths. Remind us, tap us on the shoulder, whatever we need to hear, when we need to hear it, without grumbling and fault finding and complaining, especially against God, and then also questioning and doubting. That's what God has told us among ourselves. Father, I apologize for what I have and haven't done. The stuff that I know I've done, and the stuff that I'm sure I'm totally unaware that I'm doing. I apologize for that too. I repent in Jesus' name. Amen.